This is a brief overview on the California Connects MOU process. You can locate the folder under California Connects, Contracts and Legal, and then Execute it. We maintain a few different contracts. You have the American River College contract for the digital literacy tool, the MOU with the Chancellor's Office, the CertiPort MOU. This is an old one for a consultant that has long since departed. The main Great Valley Center contract, the ICSI UC Berkeley contract with our evaluation, the evaluation team, um, the Mesa certification agreement, which is the CertiPort agreements. Um, each Mesa college must maintain a CertiPort testing center on site, and they receive 8K in funds after they sign an MOU. And the Valley Partner agreements. These are all the the Great Valley Center individual sites that the community trainers have contracted with to train on those sites. So you shouldn't have to do anything with the American River College agreement that's fully executed. The only agreements you need to worry about are the occasionally a MESA certification agreement and that's only because we have one outstanding agreement. If you take a look at the tracker, San Diego City College has yet to sign their agreement. So you may have to process that, and if it comes in, you would save the sign MOU here once it's signed by our team. So you can take a look at one of the agreements to see who needs to sign it. And you'd always pass this through legal. And they would take care of that portion for you. Once you get it back, you're going to need to provide payment to San Diego. And you could do so by clicking on the fiscal folder invoices, CertiPort, CertiPort 8K awards, and then here's the check request form. So you fill this out and attach it to the MOU, get it signed, and find that's a process that. Okay, so back to contracts and legal. The other type of agreements you might see are the Valley Partner Agreements. So these are the Great Valley Center sites that they train at. And this is an old MOU tracker here. These, these sites are actually tracked in the Zoho database now, but this tracker has some good information. Just in case a partner requests a certificate, here's some information that you need to share with them in order to get their insurance certificate. So go ahead and take a look at that if you need it. Now what are certificates? There are certificates of insurance, and here's a few examples. So we send one of these over to the partner site. The partner site sends one back and that tracking document gives you some of the language that we need to see when we receive it back. So this is basically what it looks like, and the partner sites know exactly what this is. So there you go, Certificate of Liability Insurance. And that's where you find them. And here are the executed agreements. And once again, the tracker has the certificate information. And if you need to find any other information on the agreements, please look in the Zoho database. So there are just two types of agreements that could possibly come up. One is that San Diego CertiPort agreement for the 8K for the CertiPort Testing Center. And the other is the Valley Partner Agreements for the individual Great Valley Center training sites. So if you receive a new Great Valley Center training site MOU or agreement, that they would like us to sign, send that over to legal to vet. And legal will let you know if there is anything you need to do to request changes to it. You'll likely serve as the main point of contact to communicate between the partner and legal. And you'll likely have to request a certificate from legal for the partner, as well as provide a certificate from the partner to legal. So that's pretty much it. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.